Hey guys, it's Connor Crumb here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I am going to give you my Cincinnati Bengals off-season grade. So, let's get right into the video. So, first, we are going to go over the losses for the Cincinnati Bengals. Then, we're going to go over the players that they got in free agency. Then, they're, then we are going to go over uh, their players they drafted. And then... Um, I'll tell you their the overall grade for the offseason. All right, so with their losses, their notable losses were Andy Dalton, Tyler Eifert, Andrew Billings, and Drake Kirkpatrick. Um, so Andy Dalton, I think they should have kept around because he would have been great to help um, support Joe Burrow um, and show him some stuff that could help him in the NFL level. So if I were the Bengals, I would have kept him. Um, but at the end of the day, it is a backup quarterback, so I am not giving them a ton of negativity because of that. Um, and then Tyler Eifert, I would have, I would have wanted to keep him, um, uh, cause he is a solid tight end in my opinion. Top ten tight end in the league for sure. A top five is this as a stretch, but he is a solid tight end. Um, that can catch passes pretty well. Um, um, can create some separation at times. Um, good hands. Um. But if I were the Bengals, I would have kept him. Andrew Billings, I'm pretty sure he was on a big contract. So it's understandable that um, they didn't want to keep paying him because he also wanted um, a ton of money this year. So I think it was smart of them to want to go. And then Dre Kirkpatrick was getting older. Understandable they didn't re-sign him. Um... So, that is the losses. So, for the loss value, so, one is you didn't lose much, and kind of do loss a lot of valuable pieces. So, I gave the loss value a four, which is pretty good. Um, and then, with their, the fr main free agents they gained, Vaughn Bell was a great um, addition for them. And they got him for six mil um, average over three years, which was a great contract. And then DJ Reader, I like the pickup for them, but bad contract. That's the only negativity with that. But they were in need of a defensive tackle that now that Andrew Billings was gone. So they got him. And then Trey Waynes, same thing with DJ Reader. They were needed a cornerback now that um, Dre Kirkpatrick um, left. Um, um, but once again, they spent too much money to get him, which is unfortunate for the Bengals. Um, but that's what they did, and it happens. So my contract um, grade for them... Um, it's a five. It was not a very good, not very good contracts, except for Von Bell. That was their good contract. And but then their, the player value for what they got for their needs, I gave them a seven. Um, so they got some pretty good players that they needed to replace players, um, and make their team stronger. And now we're going to get into the. Players they drafted. Obviously, Joe Burrow. Great pick. What they should have done, probably. Uh, can't blame him for the pick. Um, and then, with their second round pick, they took T. Higgins. Once again, not a bad player. But now that T. Higgins uh, got selected, I kind of have a feeling A.J. Green will get traded. Because he is getting older and he does get injured quite often. So I feel like that's a replacement 
for AJ Green. Uh, Cause I think T Higgins will be an AJ Green like player. And then they selected Logan Wilson at their third pick. Um, if it's an okay pick, uh, um, but I would have liked to see them take Josh Jones so they can upgrade their offensive line a little bit. He could have probably played offensive guard. Uh, if you didn't want Josh Jones to play offensive guard, you could have took in Matt Hennessy. That would have been a good pick at a guard spot or center. Um, Not a horrible pick, but I would have liked to see offensive linemen. And then the last notable pick for, in my opinion, for the Cincinnati Bengals this year was Khalid Kareem. That was a great pick. I, I don't know... How Khalid Kareem fell to the fifth round. Uh, but he did. The Bengals took advantage of that and took him. So I think that was a great pick for the Bengals. Um, which really boosts their greed up. Um, and because in this, cause it really helps the pass rusher. Pass. Um, get into the quarterback and in my opinion. So my overall grade for the Bengals was a 7 out of 10, which is a solid grade. Um, the one thing that really let down this grade was contracts. Uh, so I think they spent uh, quite a bit uh, of unnecessary money that they could have got um, used to get more players because – with I said like DJ Reader and Trey Wayne's, uh, I think they should have not spent that much money that they did on those players. Um, but overall, not a bad um off season. I would have probably given them an eight or a nine if it weren't for those contracts. So great off season in terms of in terms of the. Players that they got and they didn't lose a too, uh, too much, so they also replaced the players that they lost, which I really like. Um, and that will do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, I would really um uh, like if you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you guys later. Bye.